So we've just spent the day at Royal Caribbean's Coco Cay, and to say we're shocked at some of the pricing is a complete understatement. Things are starting to get out of control. Let's go back and see what our day was like. We sailed from Miami overnight to Royal Caribbean's exclusive island of Coco Cay in the Bahamas. We were up early because of the jet lag, but the sunrise sailing was beautiful. We parked next to our huge neighbour. Wow, that's close. Yay, we're off the ship, feeling so much better after a good night's sleep. There really isn't anything like walking between two big ships. We're parked next to Oasis of the Seas, and we're going to be hopefully spending a really fun day here on Perfect Day at Coco Cay. We're going to show some of the stuff which is available to do, and we're going to have a really nice day here. It is a little bit rainy and windy at the moment, so fingers crossed the weather does improve, but excited for a fun day. So the pier is about a five minute walk before you hit the entrance of Perfect Day. But if you do have accessibility problems, there is transportation for you. And if you're booked into the beach club, you can get transportation straight from the ship all the way to the beach club. We're going to tell you all about that a little bit later on in this video. Fun fact, you can actually see Norwegian Cruise Lines Private Island just a short swim away from Coco Key. But as Ben said, the weather is a little bit rainy and windy. But one fabulous side of rain and wind is that you get beautiful rainbows. Check it out, it looks really cool. Oh my gosh, the size of Oasis of the Seas next to our Explorer of the Seas just goes to show you how ridiculously big she is. She's got a big old aft and she's about twice as wide. Our ship is still a mega ship and it makes it look tiny. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world and this video is proudly brought to you by Babbel and the timing couldn't be any better. Our upcoming cruise features two enchanting Spanish ports. Now speaking a language fosters genuine connections. We always enjoy the response we get and the heartfelt appreciation that results from our endeavours to learn a brand new language and communicate in the local tongue. It could be great for you too for the same reason or connecting with your friends and family or just to learn a brand new skill for self-improvement. Summer offers an ideal backdrop for your linguistic journey. Think of it as an essential travel companion. Just 15 minutes a day can set you on a path to language fluency while you bask in the sun. Me podría recomendar algo de Tido para hacer esta noche. And because we're working with Babbel, click the link in the description section below or scan the QR code on the screen to get 60% off your subscription. Go see the world and stop to say hello. Hola. So one of the first things that you come up upon is the Thrill Water Park. Now, everybody over three years of age will have to pay to go on here. In 2019, it was about $51 or so per person to go into this water park, which made it pretty reasonable. But price Pricing now on average is around $150 per person. But get this, on some icon of the sea sailings early next year, including our sailing, prices go up to $240 per person. That is absolutely blooming insane and makes it about three times more expensive than a Disney water park. It has got some really good slides, including one of the tallest slides in North America, which is really awesome. But is it really worth that amount of money for a family of four it's going to cost you almost a thousand dollars which is absolutely insane we're only on the island from around nine o'clock till 3 p.m so you don't even get a full day in there either that is insane i cannot believe how expensive that is what on earth are royal caribbean thinking they're going to price everybody out it's just getting ridiculously priced whilst it is a really good water park it does get very busy in there as well so expect long lines to get onto the biggest rides we can already see lines going down holy moly i am shooketh at that price 240 dollars per person in some cases oh what are they thinking prices vary depending on your cruise and even on your cruise prices can change depending when you book it's all very variable the pricing you can check out the prices why it will be on your cruise by logging into the cruise planner on the royal caribbean website but ben i do have an alternative for you since we're not going to pay for the water park we could use a little 
free kiddie slides just outside instead. That sounds like a really good idea. Save yourself an absolute blooming fortune. We'll fit down there, won't we? Um, maybe not. Honestly, I'm absolutely shocked at those pricing. Do let us know what you think in the comment section below. Have you been to the Thrill Water Park before? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you and let us know if you think it's worth it. Would you pay that for your family? And whilst you're doing that, please hit that subscribe button. So whilst it is easy to complain, Royal Caribbean did actually spend a whopping $250 million on this island in 2019 to give it a massive, humongous makeover. Compare that to Disney's Castaway Key, for example. They only spent $25 million. So that's 10 times the amount that Royal Caribbean spent. And you can really tell because it is absolutely stunning all around you. The theming is amazing. And there's lots of free things to do as well. And just a few minutes into the island is Splash Away Bay. Now this is a little water zone with some lovely little slides and things for kids and it's complimentary as well, which is great. So if your little ones do want to go in the water park, take them here instead and save an absolute blooming fortune. You can really tell where they put all that money into as well because the landscaping is very, very well done. It's very lush green, lots and lots of shaded areas for when it is very hot beautiful soft sand as well and it just feels very clean and very safe it is genuinely a perfect island and one of our favorite private islands that any of the cruise lines have now the best time to come to the island as soon as the gangway opens because you're going to get all of the best choices of seating and everything like that it is really lovely and one thing about the weather not being fantastic is that it generally is a little bit quieter because some people choose to stay on the cruise ship but it's perfectly lovely so much better than being at home but yeah get here nice and early if you want to grab the best spots because when it does get busy it gets busy and all of those good spots are taken so yeah oh, this is lovely it feels so lovely to be here and it's dead it's so fantastic we got off at 8am so we've got the whole place to ourselves it's absolutely fabulous so like we said all of these umbrellas and beach chairs are completely complimentary but like we said they do fill up as well there are some different extra pay options as well they have day beds which are around $300 per the day bed and there are cabanas all around the island in different places from $300 all the way up to $2,200 for a cabana just for one day that is crazy that is more expensive than the whole cruise and you only get that for seven hours it does come with things like meals being delivered to your cabana but you don't get things like alcoholic drinks included you have to pay for them extra as well $2,200 guys that is absolutely nuts we have done one before we were very kindly invited a few years ago to one of the amazing floating cabanas check out that video it's in the description section below it was incredible but is it worth $2,200 not a chance I'd rather do another week cruise instead and stick with one of these free lovely sunbeds because they are really nice ah and the sun's came out ah. lovely coconuts Ben where, where oh yeah I thought you were talking about my my boobies now it goes without saying that Royal Caribbean absolutely hands down have the best private island it is so so much better than the competitors like Disney MSC Norwegian Carnival it is just hands down spectacular compared to those things and whilst we are mourning about these prices do remember that is an optional price you don't have to pay to do these things and there are plenty of free things on the island to do as well if you want to do some shopping there is actually loads of little shops from local vendors here on Coco Cay they do come over onto the island every day and they sell lots of trinkets and things that you would expect so like beach wear hats sunglasses and all stuff to do with the island and the region and things and you can find that it's called the marketplace and you can find there's quite a few of them here as well so if you do want to have a little peruse grab something if you it's great if you forgot something i guess if you forgot your sunglasses or your hat here's the here's your best bet to get them oh my gosh how cute is this the island library i've never seen this before and we've been to coco Cay loads of times you can take a book, have a read of it on your sun lounger and then return it. How cool is that? I'm going to go and do a little bit of bird watching. See you in a bit. So we've came over to one of the beaches. There are a few different beaches on this island. The water can get a little bit rough. So if you do want something a little bit less wavy, there is an interior beach as well, which is really lovely. But 
It's gorgeous. It's great that there's so many different places to choose from when it comes to beaches and different places to chill out. There's actually a red flag up today, which means that the waves are high, the strong currents and a high surf. So swimming here on the island is very limited. You can swim in the shallow areas, but they're not allowing people out into the deep water. One thing you definitely don't want to see is a purple flag because that means sharks. Jeez. Some other things you can do for an extra charge involve lots of water sports, so things like kayak, little rowing boats, jet skis, motor toys and things like that. They do appear to all have been cancelled today, so do bear that in mind as well. If you do have bad weather and rough seas, things like that can be cancelled. And they do tend to be a lot more expensive than on other islands where you can hire them from local providers. But if you want to do that sort of stuff, it's definitely an option. They've got lots of water toys and things. And they even have beach mats as well, which are a little extra small charge as well. There are several snorkeling points and you're absolutely welcome to bring your own snorkeling gear again you can hire it here but it's going to cost you a lot of money so just bring your own stuff so you can just reuse it and then bring them all on your next adventures they also sell things like snorkeling equipment in the marketplace in the store but guys buy it at home going to be so much cheaper get it off amazon you'll save an absolute fortune everything here like the essentials so if you do forget anything like suntan lotion sun cream it's going to be a lot more expensive here and talking about amazon we've got our own amazon shop where you can take a look at all of our highly recommended essentials the link is in the description section below now if you do have accessibility issues or need to use a wheelchair worry not because they have complimentary wheelchairs which have really big cool tires so they can go on things like the beach super easy They've also got buggies as well for little ones, which have the big tyres, so you'll be able to drive your kids onto the beach and everything, and they can have a nice little nap. And talking about naps, it's now my nap time. So I'm going to lay here, Ben. You continue what you're doing. OK. And come and collect me in about two hours. Oh, oh. bye. I can't lay on my back because I've got my bag on. I've just realised. Oh, my gosh, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Where's he gone? Uh. <laughs> very, very nice, David. That's how you do it professional and if you do smoke or vape there are designated areas throughout the island where you can do so one thing you do have to pay for however are things like drinks and stuff like that there is water and juices and tea and coffee all complimentary on the island but for alcohol soda all of that sort of stuff you do need to pay for but remember that your drinks package or any packages that you have are completely valid on coco k so you can use them here as well as well as the wi-fi package there's wi-fi all around the island so if you've got the wi-fi package on board the ship you have it here too which is great and because it's all been really well designed it's great for those again with accessibility so there's things like chair lifts into the pool areas it's really nice and considered and plenty of flat areas as well which are very easy to walk on there's loads of different choices of sunbeds and umbrellas included as well there's even sunbeds in the water which look really nice and relaxing perfect way to cool off and one of our favorite things is the swim up bar yes it even has a swim up bar it is really popular especially when on busier days and there's a dj that plays around the pool as well but because the pool is so big if it does get a little bit rowdy at one end of the pool just have a walk around and go to one of the quieter spots just around the corner and you might spot a giant balloon in the distance now this is the up up away balloon which you can pay to go on it goes up into the air and prices start around 34 dollars all the way up to 84 dollars in the busy season again that is an absolute blooming rip off 84 dollars for just a few minutes in the air per person crazy pricing now we completely appreciate that cruise lines lost a lot of money during the pandemic where do they go from here with prices like that 84 dollars to go on a balloon ride for a few minutes they are absolutely pricing people out and it makes us really upset that normal families families that make the normal amount of money the average amount of money are going to be completely priced out from being able to do some of the fun things on the island which is such a shame and it's something that disney did as well with their parks and now they're having to backtrack because the prices has got so far out of hand they started losing lots of money so the same thing's going to happen here if they carry on doing the same thing so the upkeep here on the island is really fantastic it's so lush and so green and very nicely themed you do feel like you're in some kind of tropical paradise it is very well done another pier area is the beach club so let's tell you about that the beach club is also an extra charge here you'll find the most expensive floating cabanas on our january cruise next year the cost of one of these cabanas is an insane three thousand eight hundred and thirty two dollars for literally just a few hours use but you can also pay to come in for the day you get better food upgraded sun lounges and some other pools 
Prices are on sale for our January cruise next year at $303 per person. But oh my god, you literally get a slightly better meal, but the same beach. Again, what are Royal Caribbean thinking? These prices are ridiculous. But if you want a concerning comparison, last year when we visited the beach club, this cabana cost just over $2,000. It's almost doubled in price in just a year. Oh, so we've came for some lunch now. It's the best time of the day on Coco Cay, in my opinion. There's a few different options. We've came to the Snack Shack, where you can get, get things like burgers, salads, and fries. There's also a buffet as well, a barbecue buffet. Let's take a quick look at that. The buffet is complimentary and has lots of yummy food, including burgers, hot dogs, grill items, lots of sides and choice. All the fixings you will need, sandwiches, desserts, fresh fruit and some complimentary drinks as well. So yeah, the buffet is really good as well, but we went for the snack shack and i'm so excited first of all went for some mozzarella sticks some fries and a chicken burger so let's try one of these mozzarella sticks shall we cheesy and crispy really good delicious ben, so, sorry th there's literally a chicken behind you i said i wanted fresh food i didn't mean that fresh yeah fresh chicken wings look at that david he's coming over to you as well oh my gosh that's funny guys i'm literally eating his brother he escaped from the kitchen he, he fry fly fry free <laughs> fry free chicken he's free of the fryer oh my gosh i feel bad i feel like i'm eating his brother or something anyway i'm gonna do something really cool that somebody's told us about i'm gonna put my mozzarella sticks in my chicken burger i'm trying not to um show him that i'm actually eating him this feels so wrong also went to the salad bar as well there's some salad bar stuff up there as well so sauces and bits of salad pickles all of that jazz so i'm gonna stick that in there as well bit of pickle next stop kfc right let's have a taste shall we oh my gosh this is a big boy well slap me with a cow and call me a milkshake oh he's not happy that is absolutely blooming delicious it's really really good the food on here is fantastic crispy chicken oh lovely cheese i like the cheese sticks in there as well somebody told us to do that it's a winner 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 chicken dinner my god, I didn't realise we're in the zoo. I'm getting judged by all of these birds around us. It's not good. That judgy chicken just keeps staring at us. It's sniffing around Ben's feet now at the moment. Oh my gosh. He won't leave him alone. Maybe he wants some of the chicken burger. Maybe he's had the mozzarella sticks. No, no, no. Good. He's not a cannibal, David. But they are very, very good. Mozzarella sticks, the fries are really good as well. Possibly, I think, some of the best food I've had in Royal in a long time is here at the Chicken Shack. Fabulous. I also got a grilled vegetable salad. I'm going to be quite honest. It looks pretty disgusting. I don't know what it is. Stick to the good stuff. Stick to the naughty stuff. Don't try to be healthy. The chicken agrees, David, apparently. Yeah, the chicken agrees. It's that time, everyone. It's dessert time. And there is a really good selection of desserts here. We've got basically everything, obviously just for research purposes. Anyway, first up, we've got the funnel cake, which David isn't the biggest fan of. He thinks it looks like a brain. What do you think? Do you like funnel cake? Because I think it's funneling delicious. Let's have a little taste, shall we? It tastes like donut with sugar. Super simple and super good. Oh, yummy. But we went and got the chocolate brownie with caramel sauce. This looks absolutely wonderful. Let's have a little bite, shall we? Dr. Phil on a hill. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. I could sit here and eat a whole row of these. They are so yummy. That caramel sauce on top, big old chocolate chips in the middle. D freaking delicious. Oh my gosh, my life's complete. This is the best thing ever. There's a couple of different selections of fruit which are delicious and the cookies are very good as well. All round, a great option, fantastic food here. And the best thing is it's all complimentary, no extra charge. You can eat as much or as little as you want. So it's a great lunch option here on Coco Cay. Oh my gosh, my hair's going crazy, guys. The weather isn't improving. It's a little bit miserable. It's throwing it down and it's actually getting pretty chilly. So we're going to head back now. Uh, but yeah, really good lunch, really excellent. Oh my God, I'm going to get under a umbrella because my camera's going to get wet. We don't want to damage the equipment, do we? Let's take a look at some more extra cost activities. You can choose the zip line too. On our next cruise in January 2024, it's a whopping $106 per person. Crazy pricing considering how small these zip lines are, how low they are, and compared to some of the big ones in the Caribbean, which are much, much cheaper. And like we said, there's a number of different beaches, some with cheaper cabanas coming in at around $1,641. Still crazy expensive. 
and you don't get any extra food or anything like you do in the bigger cabanas. We've seen cabanas in the nicest hotels in Miami South Beach, including credit for food and drink, at under one third the price of this. Then it's a short walk away or tram ride to the lovely Adult Sony Beach, a lovely oasis away from all of those kids. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons. You can find out about becoming a patron in the description section below. We give you loads in return. If you want to see Coco here on a sunny day, click this video right here now where we give you a full tour of this fantastic island, Ooh. telling you everything that is available to do here. It's going to be a bit better weather than this, trust me.